We are your home theater and AV questions answered. This is AV Rant. Want your home theater or AV question answered by Tom and Rob? Send it to question at avrant.com. Welcome to AV Rant. I'm Tom Antry and I'm here with Rob H. Paco. First of all, Paco says hola from Mexico, which uh, is amazing. I didn't know he was from Mexico, but I don't know that this is the first time I've known for sure someone from Mexico has mm. has done his asked us a question on the podcast. I know that we've had people from South yes. America, but ne- not Mexico. Anyways, he has a Sony HW40 projector and 120-inch cheap pull-down projection screen. He plans to upgrade to a real 4K projector in the next couple of years, but until then, he thinks upgrading now to a better screen might increase the image, the quality of the, his image with his current Sony and be better for the future upgraded projector. His theater is dedicated and totally like controlled. He like a he like a pick for both a fixed screen and electric roll-down, and his budget is between a thousand and fifteen hundred bucks. Now. Does Amazon ship to Mexico is a big question. What's the the tariffs now, and all he's, of that? Yeah, he specified in his budget U.S. dollars. So I'm making the assumption that he's taking that into account. He seemed to be well aware of it. So he's like, my budget is 1000 to 15 U.S. dollars for the screen. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I will take you at your word, Paco. Okay, so 120-inch cheap white pull down projection screen now sure. i've got two images in my head one is like that super glossy crap they used to have you know at For school and stuff like that slideshows and stuff <laughs> overhead like that. projector in which case that you i on. do believe that a, a, a projection a new screen could increase mm. your image quality mm-hmm. and enjoyment if it is just an inexpensive <laughs> but perfectly reasonably uh designed pull down screen that you don't like because it's you know, it's kind of wobbly and stuff like that. You may find that the image quality differences aren't that great. I don't know what you're actually working with here. Mm. So I, I first want to warn you that there may be, if you're, if the screen itself is fine, it's just, you know, maybe not the, what you want right now. It could very well be that you get the, get the new one. You're like, I don't know. It looks not much of a difference. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And that could very well happen. Yeah. Cause a white screen versus a white screen it's not likely to be complete. Because he's not day. saying I'm seeing hot spotting or I'm seeing, right. you know, uh, reflections or I'm seeing they weave or something like that or mm-hmm. it's got crinkles in it or it's waving in the wind or anything like that. So I colors are obviously shifted and inaccurate. Yeah. So to me, I'm I I'm hesitant to say that this is going to be a huge difference or a mm-hmm. difference at all. It very well could be that. It's just not that big of a difference. Now, that being said, I now that I've said that, we will help you find something. Sure. But fixed screens right now are fairly inexpensive uh, yeah. to find. 120 inches, uh, it's a yeah, standard size. I don't size. know if he was sticking with the 120, but that was sort of the assumption I was going on. That I, I think you got to go with that. that cause cause he didn't say he didn't like yeah. the size of it. He said he wanted the you right. know, a 4K projector. So, uh, I mean, we the two that we always recommend from Amazon, which is, you know, I've got the silver ticket. Mm-hmm. So, and I love it. It's fine. And, I, and uh, the, the elite screens is the other one that we all always recommend from there. Yeah, uh, and for a less expensive motorized electric roll down, I would definitely recommend elite screens. Right. That's, that's definitely going to be an option right now, the model you'd be looking at, because I always recommend going for tab tensioned if you can, especially at 120 inches. That's starting yeah. to get large enough. You might get waves in a roll it's down a sale. screen. <laughs> yeah, and maybe that's the problem he has. He's like, it's a cheap pull down screen. Maybe it's got waves it, in it. That's, that's definitely that's, possible. Now, if that's the case, then yes, tab tensioning will help you and mm-hmm. for a pull Hold down, uh, for a drop screen, motorized drop screen. Could just be he wants something a little bit sexier than something he's yep. got, to go, got a string hanging from it. That's right. And he's got to pull it down too. So there's yeah, all it, these things that could... would be the, uh, the Saker tab tension series. Right. And all these things are improvements over your experience that you're mm-hmm. having right now, but aren't necessarily improvements to the picture quality which is what, what i'm trying to def- you know the delineation yeah. i'm trying yeah, to yeah we make. don't want to oversell this to you and have you be really disappointed like i got this new screen yeah the case is nicer and it's cool that i can press a button and it rolls down but it honestly doesn't look very much different yeah. it's like that could be the case 
fixed screens, you can definitely send, uh, uh, spend under $1,000. Fixed screens mm -hmm. are easy. You know, the, t the silver ticket or the uh, elite screens, both are good. If you want to spend a little bit more money, you can go with Seymour AV. Mm -hmm. And Seymour AV makes some great stuff. How much there uh, – what's the one with a snap-on uh, masking? Masking? Well, you can do that only with their more expensive Premiere frame. So yeah, you can't yeah. do it with their precision frame, which is, is their less expensive bucks? one. Uh, yeah, it starts to get a little bit pricey there. Um, that's starting with just the frame, and then the the masks themselves are like an extra four or five hundred dollars somewhere in there. So it uh, that would probably blow your fifteen hundred. Probably blow your you, budget, but if, if you you're really looking to, yeah, if you want to go with the masking on the fixed screen, I mean, it's probably worth at least mentioning. So I mentioned it. Oh yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's fun to look at. That's for sure. Yeah, um, what you got? Yeah. There are a few other options, though, that if you just want to, you know, research on your own and maybe one of them will float your boat. Um, Illunavision, uh, which is actually a Canadian-based company, but they do ship to the States. Um, so they have both electric roll-down and fixed-frame screens that would be within your budget. Uh, and then um, bringing up Snap AV once again. Again, you'll have to get this from a dealer, but they have their Dragonfly screens. Now, they are a little bit more expensive, so it might go over your budget, but... It's something that you could look into. Uh, but a screen, you know, as long as you're getting a nice frame with a color neutral, proper 1.0, 1.1 gain white screen frame, there's not uh, screen material. There's not a huge amount of difference to be had. So, um, yeah, the, the less expensive ones uh, can be just as good as the more expensive ones. Yeah, he doesn't say anything in here about like how much light control he has or anything like that. Right. So, it's what it is. So, hopefully, it's. Want your question answered? Send it to question at avrant.com. AV Rant. Now go out and listen to something.